Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. Um, today we'll do a very simple exercise that you might have come across during university or school. Um, the exercise is to simply create a project which takes in input from the user and then checks whether or not that um, number that the user have inputted is an even number or an odd, odd number. So to start off, I'll start by declaring um, i and I'll simply write in i is equal to zero and you'll see why we need that later on. I will then start off by creating um, the input. So I'll say number is equal to int. And then I'll say input. Enter a new number. And pretty much what this line is, um, it asks for input from the user. And it stores it in um, an object called number. But however, because the function input always asks for a string we have to wrap it inside int and that way whatever is going to be said here whatever the user is going to ask for um yeah sorry whatever the user is going to insert it's going to be stored as int anyway um let's move on next i will actually store the answer somewhere so i'll say answer is equal to number then the percentage sign two and pretty much what this says is it will take the number divided by two and check if there's any remainder left. And we will store the remainder in answer. And then with a simple if statement, we're simply going to say if answer is equal to zero, if the remainder is equal to zero, we're going to print the number and then we're also going to say this number is an even number. Let's check what we have so far. So I'm simply going to right click and run the tutorial. It's going to ask me for a number and I'm going to say 2. And in here it says 2 is, uh, 2 this number is an even number. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to remove this and now if we run it again and let's say we type in 2, it says 2 is an even number, which is exactly what we want. But now we want it to say whether the number is odd or not because right now if I type in 3 for example, it's not going to say anything because the condition is not met but I didn't say what to do if that condition is not met. So to simply fix that, we're just going to come at the bottom. We're going to move at the back and we're going to say else. Print. Oops, sorry. Print. And we're also going to want to find the number. And we're going to say is an odd number. So let's see how this runs and then I'll explain exactly how it works. So let's say I put three and it's going to say three is an odd number. And that's because it divides the number and if there is any value, it will, uh, if there's anything left, it will, it will be greater than zero. And that means that this condition is no longer true because the answer is no longer equal to zero. And so this statement will be the one that will run. So just to show you what I mean, I'm going to print answer here. And let's say I put three. See how one showed up when I put in three? That's because the remainder was one point something probably. And so this is not true because answer is now equal to one. And so this statement was done that started running. Let's see what will happen if I put eight, which is an even number. Zero shows up, which means this statement is true. And that's why this is the one that runs. So this code works. This is a code that checks whether or not the input of the user is in fact odd or even, but we want it to keep going. We don't want it to just happen one time and that's it. We want the user to ask like um, three times, for example, and that's where this comes into play. So all I'm going to do, first of all, let's just remove this because now we understand how that works. We're going to highlight this. I'm not sure why it's not highlighting, but anyway, and we're gonna move it and we're gonna put this in a while statement. And what a while statement is going to do is that it will make this code keep running until the condition I'm putting up here is no longer val valid. So right now, this will run 
and that's because i is equal to zero, which means that i is less than three, yeah, because zero is less than three. Obviously, we don't want this to keep running forever, so we're simply going to come at the bottom here, and we're gonna iterate. Sorry, we're gonna add. Oh, sorry. Like this, so i is going to be one, and then it's going to be two, and then it's going to be three until this condition is no longer true. So now let's run this and see what happens. Enter a new number. I'm gonna put two, and oops, two is an even number. Okay. Um. Oh, I know what we did. So we are actually asking for the input at the top, like this. Now this should work, hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's put two, and it says two is an even number, enter a new number, and this time I'm going to put, um, let's say I'll put seven, and it's going to say seven is an odd number, let's start a new one, let's try something big, I'm just going to type in 100, and it says 100 is an even number, and then it stops. So now the user gets an actual idea on how this works. Thanks so much, and please like and subscribe. Come again.